That wind's trouble, Captain Cormac. Loose down! Catch some wind! Loose the main! Give me some speed! Loose sail! Put out all she takes! Over there, Captain. The fishing settlement of Greystone. The French took over after it was ransacked by bandits. Two assassin allies at their home and two men. The heads. Trim the yards off the wind! Unfurl mates! Let's move! Raise those sheets! Let's move! As much sail as you can! Haul in the studs in! Trim up! Anchor away! Not done here, Smith. The Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Oh, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. Full I make sails. my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Got him. Aye. Sort of there, there she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a dangerous. leading temper. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. All sail! Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colonies certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. 
We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Enemy heading for us, sir! God at the main street! Blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. Full sails! Douse the gallants and royals! Lay along! Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where are you? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him.
How goes your sugar plantation? Terrible. Measles broke out last month. Twenty laborers dead so far. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. I've mortgaged everything to bring in new hands from down. Hopefully these will be more resistant. Need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <coughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you. 
for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Damn it. Better hurry. We have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Is that a ship, Mortar? That's not sporting! I can get it from here! In my sights, clear as day! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. A sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. Two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. A rare day we could sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye, I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. He's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months. And we've done little but search for this flock to find his perfect box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box. Chevalier to John. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. Take the fight to them!
when Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power. What does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. I had a long talk with that Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome, bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strained language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. Roma. The Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. And a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. There it gets straight! For sale! For sale! Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Then, I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. They also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Bargain hand with the lamp, cut the light itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. 
What about Smith, then? Is he close there by? he is! Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target is smart. What he's doing in these waters? Oh, Destroy the box. Maybe he came here to meet someone, or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known him. But he's back from a long voyage. Never attacked again. Calls most of the thin mouse well, doesn't he? With him out of the way, Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. And we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ramp, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Game, Kevin Fire! Can't risk losing the precursor box, Captain. It worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. These waters are. It's an ambush. See Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. Loose and trip two. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Careful, Captain. They can fire many fire. Disappoint him, and he's still within reach. Fire! Yeah! Home. Let's go. Ready to hit them, sir. Spread our wings to the wind. Full sails. Wow! 
What wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shane. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Now we know where he was headed. The bastard has an encampment here. Short sail! Get up this drone! Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this.
will regret this. <laughs> this cannot be. <laughs> no. Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. Ah! Uh, uh. 